Evening, and thank you so much for staying up with us tonight. Well, drag shows and kids, one of our most powerful state senators, want to make it illegal for anyone up to 18 to go to a drag performance. Tonight, I'm digging deeper on this controversial topic, and we hear from both sides. <laughs> The cellar door in Huntington hosting a drag brunch. Whenever we're hosting our brunches down here, they are very family friendly. All of the entertainers know that, that, that children are welcome and that all of their outfits and song choices and performances have to match that. And what I've seen with the drag shows and the, all those efforts around LGBTQ, YZ, you keep on adding the alphabet to it, is that it continues to deteriorate that, that traditional family value system. West Virginia State Senator Eric Tarr proposed a bill to prohibit drag artists from performing in front of anyone under 18. Senate Bill 103 states, all minors in West Virginia are prohibited from being involved in drag shows for any reason. Additionally, drag shows may not be held in the presence of minors. Very much so I worry about the grooming potential if somebody would come in and try to sexualize a child. It's not like I'm trying to recruit, hey, come out, be a drag queen. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, why should I do that? Ted Brightwell has worked as a female impersonator for 49 years. His stage name is Vicki Williams. When we do something where minors are going to be allowed, it's definitely family friendly. I am merely an actor who is playing a role who is wearing a costume. I'm no different from any other actor around. I have done 27 years of the Nutcracker Ballet with the West Virginia Symphony and the Charleston Ballet. In that time, I have probably performed for thousands, not just a few hundred, but thousands of children. And I don't think I've corrupted one of them yet. <laughs> have you ever been to a drag show? No. Would you ever go? No. Some fear the passing of the drag show bill could ultimately ban drag performances in any public venue, including local theater or even movies that show drag. Uh, all of that would be at risk, absolutely. And, you know, many times there is the problem of unintended consequences when legislators craft a bill like this. It's much broader than they probably even envision. Senator Tarr says that would not be the case. It's just about protecting children. Some people say this is a manufactured right-wing outrage. What's your response? Well, well, there should be some outrage from the entire public, not just anybody from any particular wing. The outrage should be that the traditional family has been falling apart year after year after year. And so this isn't any in response to any type of wing. This is, for me, it's, it's an appointment to come back and say, and we don't tolerate this here in West Virginia. Yeah, but this is a short 60-day legislative session. And and do legislators have nothing more important to work on than banning Mrs. Doubtfire? Now, if Senate Bill 103 passes and parents allow their children to see a drag performance, the parents would first get a warning. If it happens again, they could be sent to parenting classes. Now, the bill was sent to the Senate Judiciary Committee on the first day of the session. It has not been placed on the agenda yet.